Hello, Skills Technology Academy students and families. Uh, Ms. Matthews here, and it's time for some fun home science. Uh, I looked up some things that we could do at home, and I found a recipe for some very fun putty that uses only two ingredients. Um, and those ingredients are things that you likely have in your own home. So I'm gonna go ahead and face you towards my, um, my work area and we will get started with our fun home science. Okay, Scales Technology friends. Um, so you are now facing my work area and I will tell you everything that you need in order to complete this science uh, project. The first thing that you're going to need are measuring cups. Um, you will need one that is one half cup and one that is one quarter cup. If you can only use one measuring cup, um, you can use two quarter cups for your half cup. Um, but if you have both, go ahead and use both. You will also need some cornstarch. Cornstarch is a baking ingredient and it's likely that you have some at your house. Um, ask your parents if you can use some. You will also need some dish soap. Dish soap is used in pretty much every household so you probably have some dish soap to clean your dishes every day after you eat. Um, some very important things before we get started, make sure that you have permission from your parents in order to do this project with me. Um, if you do not have permission, then you need to go and ask. Go ask now. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I also have a bowl here for mixing and a spoon to mix with. So I'm going to start with my cornstarch. You're going to need and this is new cornstarch. I have not used it any yet, so I'll go ahead and, oof, it's a little messy. So here's my cornstarch. I'm gonna start with my cornstarch. You will need one half cup of cornstarch, one half cup. So that is your bigger measuring cup. If you do not have one half cup, you can put in two fourth cups and that will be okay. So I'm gonna use my half cup and just like, oh. Just like if we were baking, we want to be as precise as possible. Now this is not the best way to do this. I think I'll use my spoon to scoop in some of my ingredients. So here's my spoon and I will scoop it into my half cup. We want to be as precise as possible when we're doing a science experiment or when we're baking. We want to make sure that we have the right amount of ingredients. That looks like a pretty full half cup, so I'll put that in there. That's my dry ingredient. Make sure that I've got it all out of there. Awesome. So I'll put the lid back on my cornstarch because it's pretty messy as you've noticed. And now I'll put in my wet ingredient, my dish soap. So I've opened up my dish soap and I'll just squirt it into my fourth cup. This is one fourth cup, so it's smaller than my half cup and I'm only gonna put in one of these. So I'll squeeze the dish soap into my cup and that looks about right and I will put that in there. Now I can use my spoon to help me get out the rest of the dish soap. And that's it, those are all of the ingredients for this science project. So from there, I'll put my mess over there to clean up later. We can start stirring. So you wanna stir, stir, stir until it gets a little bit chunky. Do you see how it's starting to come together? Oh, I can feel the texture changing. We're making a putty, which is kind of an interesting substance. You can see it getting clumpy like that. Now I'll go ahead and I'm gonna stop using my spoon and I'm gonna use my hands now to mix it. I'll use my hands. Now a putty is an interesting substance. If you guys have studied matter, I know that my class studied matter, you know that we have three stages of matter, liquids, solids, and gases. 
and they all have different properties that make them unique, right? Uh, liquids flow, they fill space, solids stay the same size um, and can be separated, gases fill the space, and they also don't have a particular shape. So I want you to take a look now at what we've made. I'm going to keep adding all my little pieces in. Take a look at what we've made and think about it. What do you think this is? A liquid? A solid? A gas? Well, I know it's not a gas because gases are vapor usually and we cannot see them for the most part. And also they don't take, they don't, you can't usually see them take up space. Liquids and solids, however, you can usually see taking up space. Uh, liquids move in order to fill a space area and solids stay the same size no matter what. So, or they stay the same shape no matter what. So take a look at this. Do you think it's a liquid, a solid? Well, it's kind of a trick question. This is putty, which is known as a non-Newtonian fluid. A non-Newtonian fluid is something in between a liquid and a solid. If you're pulling apart quickly, you can see it moves, it breaks apart from each other. So it's when it's got a lot of stress on it, it acts as a solid. But if it's being pulled apart slowly and handled slowly, you can see it's flowing like a liquid would. So it's somewhere in between a solid and a liquid. Now we have made our putty all the way. Very fun and exciting. Now there's something else super cool that you can do with this putty. And let me think. Think about what it's made out of. Well, we used cornstarch and we also used dish soap. So when you're f done playing with your putty, you can go ahead and use this as soap, just like you would normal bar soap. Get your hands wet, rub your hands on it a little bit, and then rinse your hands off in the sink. Not only was this fun and entertaining, but it will help us keep our germs away. I hope you enjoyed this video showing you how to make soap putty. Have a fun time, Scales Technology Academy, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Goodbye.